What's going on guys? What's up to my YouTube people and my Discord people doing 2021 mid-season in the bag video. Appreciate everyone watching this. Uh, jumping right in, this is a last generation Upper Park Rebel. I absolutely love this bag, got it used uh, from Bo. Uh, it's held up really well so far. I love the layout of it. Uh, I wish it had the newer side pockets for a little bit more storage and stuff, but in general, I don't have any issue with it. Uh, it's light, it's comfy, uh, it feels better than most bags, uh, especially throughout the course of a round, it's a lot lighter. So, um, we'll start up top here, putting putters. I put Lumen Lynx. Um, I was putting the Medusas for a while, uh, now I'm back to putting these OTB ones, the original run of the Lumen Link. Um, I kind of like that they're a little bit more tacky. Uh, these are a little fresher than my Medusas were. Um, so I, I like that. I'm kind of a weirdo who likes fresher putters. Um, I don't need mine beat into crap. I like the grip and tack of a fresher putter. So uh, these are my preferred ones right now. Um, throwing putter, carrying Plasma Proxy. Uh, I enjoyed this quite a bit. These are like stupidly laser straight. It like just, you throw it and it just goes straight. It doesn't ever think about fading. It finishes straight. Um, really nice for uh, scramble shots in particular and approach shots uh, because I just kind of know it's gonna go straight. So if I've got to hit a smaller gap without any fade, I throw this proxy. Um, carry. K1 Berg, I am in love with the Berg. I took me a, a while to get used to this disc uh, and to warm up to it and to even be willing to throw it. it they definitely feel weird, um, thumb track, and they're, they're super deep, but uh, insanely controllable. Um, you can't overthrow them, which is really nice. You, I really mash on these and I can hit maybe 250 with them. Um, and some days, like, I'll try and hit 250 and it'll just drop out of the sky. They do a really crazy thing where like they legit, they'll be flying and then they just go boom and just die. It's insane. So um, feel like I always have confidence in these. Good ace run, can forehand them a little bit. They, they hold up to torque. They are overstable, but not like super beefy. Um, and I keep my useful shoved inside there. Um, overstable approaches, um, carry a beat up soft tactic. This thing is not really fresh tactic over stable. Um, it's probably not even as stable as that Berg. Um, I throw this both forehand and backhand. I would say I throw it more backhand. Um, I like it for little like soft flex approach shots or hitting woodsy gaps. I, I feel really confident just throwing this little flex and having it pan back to flat. The soft plastic just hits and sticks. So uh, high, high confidence disc. If I lost this beat up one, I would have to really quickly beat in another one because I really like how this beat up one is, bug. Uh, overstable, 500A2. This one is newer to my bag the last few weeks. It is fresh and uh, feels really good. I got this from my buddy Zach Olbonk there. Um, this one is perfect. I love these in 500. This one's nice and flat. Didn't have to hot water it or anything. Uh, super overstable. I throw these mostly forehand, but uh, I absolutely feel comfortable throwing spiky backhands, scramble shots, short thumbers, things like that. Uh, Fusion Justice Dimax with my stepson's art on it. I love this one as well. It is kind of puddle top. This is not beefy like a regular Justice or like a Lucid Justice. It's it's really um, super throwable. Um, this one's got some wear on it and, and beat up. Uh, I feel a ton of control with this. I reach for this over the A2 a lot of times for kind of touchy up shots, especially forehand, just because it feels just right. All right, moving on to mid ranges. Uh, newer addition to my bag this year, Neo Origin. Uh, I replaced my Luster MDs with these. Uh, it's shallower, it just feels better. This is a beautiful pearly one. It's got all these striations in the plastic. Uh, easier to just throw this on a little hyzer and trust it to just slowly turn late. Uh, it's one of those discs that like, it flies like a, a beat up mid range out of the box. It just, it's controllable, late, slow flip. Uh, if I wanna put a little anti-torque on it, it'll carry and really dump. Iron Samurai 2 MD3, I adore this disc. I was never an MD3 thrower previously uh, until I got these and they just are like a Goldilocks disc for me. Um, not overstable per se, but I can throw this as hard as I want on a little bit of hyzer and they'll just drift a little bit right and always just kind of pan back to flat and set down. They go farther than any other mid range I've ever thrown. These are just awesome. 
Crescent Falcon 2 MD4. Uh, MD4 is one of those Dismania molds I'm nervous about never seeing again because it's kind of unique. There really isn't anything like the MD4. Uh, throw it straight hard as you want it'll push 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 and then fade at the end in the wind it doesn't even think about moving right it's just super reliable uh, super controllable not too glidey you know plenty of distance when you want it but not too glidey uh, always feel really in control with the md4 love it uh, on to fairways okay uh, I always have an FD in my bag. This Night Strike 3 has been my choice since they came out. Uh, more flippy than a lot of the FDs. I, I would compare it to like my beat-in sea lines. Uh, they still go a mile, feel really controllable. This plastic feels really good. It's color glow, of course, so of course it feels good. But um, they're pretty domey, but so are all FDs. Uh, this is just a really good run FD. I do not know why people aren't in love with these even more than they are. Royal Rage FD2 Color Glow. Um, I also beg sea lines now and then, but these color glows just feel great. They're super flat. So these again are the three tooled FD3, or FD2 rather. Um, kind of like a long MD, or M golly, long MD4. Uh, just mash on it, laser straight, doesn't think about going right. Um, this green one just replaced uh, my tan one, which was getting really beat up and would start to turn a little bit. Still a great like thrower disc, but it's not what I want out of the FD2 in my bag. I want that shorter, controllable shot. Uh, FD2 is awesome because it doesn't glide a lot too. It's like the MD4, like you can throw it and trust that it's not gonna just go too far. It feels really controllable. Um, and I can throw it as like a long mid-range sometimes in, in the wind, especially if I have that like 280, 290 shot where I don't wanna mash the mid-range, I'll throw this guy and have easy control to the spot. My overstable slot right now is a Meta Instinct. Uh, I would say that this is not really the overstable I want. I was bagging a Night Strike 2, but it got a little flippy for me. Um, I still munch on this in the wind a little bit, but it will flip up a little bit and drift. But this goes way farther than any of my other fairways. Like I, I would say I throw this as long as my CD2s and stuff. They just go for freaking ever. They glide so long. Um, Instinct's a great disc. It's just never quite been what I wanted out of my bag or in my bag, out of my overstable slot, but uh, this one's really good, feels really nice. It'll probably stick around a while. Control slot uh, for the straighter one, Sea Line CD2. I've been bagging Royal or uh, Roaming Thunder 2s for a while, but I lost my last one uh, in February or so. So I'm back to the original Sea Line I was bagging. This one is a little more flippy and S-turny than the uh, straighter Roaming Thunder was, but uh, great woods disc. There are certain courses like Pier Park where I just throw these off of like 10 of the tees, and then there's other courses where I don't throw it ever. But uh, when I want this particular disc, uh, I, I like having it in the bag. Uh, overstable, I carry a few, starting with Sea Line FD3, Pend Run Flat. I adore this disc. It's kind of brick hard old champion, but like in this mold, it just feels right. I do everything with this disc. Uh, backhands, forehand approaches. If I want to go with like a panning Annie Flex, I always reach for this. Uh, it's become quickly my forehand roller disc as I've lost kind of trust in my PD3. So um, it's held up amazing considering it's hit a billion trees. I love these. I love this run. I have a couple backups, so I should be good for a while. Uh, bag, Doombird. FD3 I got, or Doomer 3 FD3 I got from Dave, uh, Pancakes on the Discord. Um, this one's gorgeous, almost like a halo rim, uh, neon in the rim. Uh, this is a little more overstable than the Sea line uh, not as overstable as the other Doombird 3s I've owned though. So it's not like a get vertical meat hook, but uh, it is a little bit more overstable. And honestly, it, it overlaps with that C-Line quite a bit, but there are times where like this just feels right or the C-Line just feels right. And so I've got the bag space to afford having both. Glow PD3 has been in my bag quite a while. Got my first forehand ace with one of these. I'm bagging these flatter North Star ones now instead of the European open ones. These normally have been my forehand roller disc in particular because they have a fatter kind of wider rim. Um, but I've been leaning on the FD3 a lot more for that. These are like super meaty. I just, I don't treat them like an overstable distance driver. I treat them like a utility disc. Um, if I've got to throw like really choppy um, forehand flexes that I want to pan out at the end and stuff, especially if I want to go more than like 220, 230 feet with it, I'll lean on these. Then I have my PDs, still bagging this same spin-dyed 
uh, Lone Howl 1. This is like a super straight to fade uh, PD for me. I can throw this up to like 360, 370, um, which is longer than a lot of my PDs. Um, super reliable, I can throw it in the wind, I can throw it forehand, I throw it backhand. I honestly like underrate its stability a lot of the times and I, I'll, I'll get in a windy situation and think, oh, I need to stable up when I don't. This thing's plenty stable still. It just pushes a long, long way and then dumps at the end. Again, uh, I always say, you know, MD4, FD2, PD are all kind of the same disc at, in different distances. You, they go straight, they don't get squirrely in the wind, they fade. Uh, but they push forward. Lone Howl 2, um, I've had the opposite experience of a lot of people. All my Lone Howl 2s have been more overstable than my Lone Howl 1s, and this one's no different. This is a super high parting line height one. Sporty Spins uh, dyed this for me. Uh, I love this. I lean on this especially forehand um, over the other PD, um, and if, it's, uh, if I want a shot that I need to push a little longer than my FD3s will, um, I, go to, I go to this once. There are certain shots where I want to go left at a certain point, but I need to go a little farther than the FD3s will go, and I lean on this. Distance drivers I've beefed up quite a bit over the last year. Um, that's not necessarily due to me throwing farther, although I am. Uh, it's just due to a lot of the courses I've been playing have necessitated it, and I've simplified my shorter discs quite a bit, so I don't need to carry quite as many. So, uh, understable one. 400 D1, uh, I got a couple of these from this tournament. This is, they're, they're just not like D1s. They're, they're dummy under stable, but in a super controllable way. And they've, they, you know, 400 beats in pretty well, but this has held the same kind of flight pattern for a while. Uh, I really trust this disc. Uh, if I throw backhand rollers, I often go to this disc, uh, but it, it's one of those, like if I lost it, I'd be really nervous because it's my kind of flat to turnover disc. Uh, if I throw a little bit of a force over with it and it'll really cut to the right. Um, there's a couple holes like number two canyons at Horning where I've got to get out and then way to the right. And so I can throw this out and it'll glide to the right for a long way. Really important disc to my bag. Uh, Enigmas. I've been bagging Vapor Enigmas for a while, but while I was filming shots for this in the bag video last weekend, I lost my Vapor Enigma. Uh, I put this Lux one in for the last tournament and I frankly love it. So I will probably stick with it even though I think I'm going to get that Vapor back. Um, Enigmas are like a long CD2. They go pretty much dead straight. They're not very flippy, uh, at least not for me. And then they finish really soft. Um, in the wind, they get a little flippy. Uh, for me, a lot of times I'll also throw like a gentle any force and they just hold that line for quite a ways so um, this Lux feels great really gummy again it's got that striations in the plastic this is an awesome disc I'm, I'm in love with it I've been throwing Fusion Raider again with my kids Dimax on it of my dog um, this is an absolute bomber disc for me it's not super overstable I would say it's like almost minus two uh, and maybe two fade at the end It'll, I'll throw it on a little hyzer and it'll drift right and pan back. Um, it's probably the longest disc in my bag if I really mash on any of these discs. Um, I, I like it a lot. It's already starting to get a little beat in. I'm kind of nervous that this thing's gonna get flippy pretty quick, but um, you know, I'm gonna try and learn to lean into that and throw it because uh, I like it quite a bit, feels really good. Just got this one this weekend. I'm actually gonna film a couple of throws while I'm here at the field. This is a Color Glow Destroyer. It is very flat. It's got a kind of blizzard rim, so it's got a lot of texture to it. Just like, it's kind of like a Goldilocks disc for me. Uh, this is a 166. It feels really good. Um, in my throws this tournament this weekend, it was really reliable for me. Uh, similar flight to maybe that Raider where it just will, will flip a little bit and then finish kind of straight. It doesn't have a ton of bite to it. I threw a bunch of forehands with it in the field and it held up really well to that. Um, it didn't, didn't get too squirrely on me with my wobble oat. So uh, I like this a lot. Still kind of working this in and seeing where it goes, um, but so far really like it. Another new addition that I'm really big on, Scott Withers Tour Series Force ESP. Again, kind of flat for a force, uh, very gummy, good feeling ESP. I've been very public that I do not enjoy ESP in general and I don't think it's a great plastic, but this feels awesome, looks awesome. Um, this is a super throwable force. It's kind of, you know, almost Zeus or Destroyer-ish a little bit, but with a little bit stronger finish. Uh, again, I feel really confident with this in the wind so far. I, I like, I'm not nervous about mashing on it in the wind and it goes a long way. Uh, I think the throw I'm gonna include in this video is around 400 feet with it. So uh, for me, you know, that's a pretty big throw. Good disc, really enjoying it kind of in my 
moderately or mostly over stable but not meat hook slot so far. And that more meat hook slot is my Skyrider PD2. I was bagging a G-Line PD2 for a bit, but after a few trees, it already was getting pretty squirrely. Um, Skyrider is not the most overstable PD2 I've thrown. It, uh, you know, it, it holds up really well in the wind, but it's not the kind of snappy, bitey meat hook that a lot of PD2s are, like a C-Line. Uh, you know, it doesn't drop out of the sky at 300 feet for me. I can actually mash on these pretty hard and get them to fly pretty well. Um, Definitely the forehand distance driver I lean on because it eats up a lot of my oat and still will go a long way. Um, not again overly domey for a PD2. Uh, I like it quite a bit. Feels really good. This uh, special blend as swirly or whatever. Not very swirly on this particular one, but uh, it's kind of why I picked it out of my stack because it was the least pretty one. So I kind of was least concerned about it. So um, carry a couple more discs in the side pocket because I can. Um, Neo Essence. Um, I shoved this in the side pocket at this point because I just don't throw it that much. I leaned on these really heavily for a while and then now I just kind of don't. Um, still my kind of backhand roller disc. It's my like wooded scramble disc when I need something really flippy that I, you know, for when I'm not throwing with a lot of power. Uh, I'll throw it on some like really steep uphill shots, but for whatever reason, I just don't reach for it. I'll force over an FD or something instead, uh, but I do like to carry it still just as a utility disc. Speaking of Neutron Flare, uh, this one is not as dummy over stable as a lot of the flares are, but um, there's still a few shots in particular, like hole nine at Horning's Meadows, where I want to go right and not too far with my forehand. Um, and I'll pull this out um, for that in particular. Uh, you know, again, I've got the space in the bag to carry it, so I carry it, you know, just for a few specific shots right now. Um, the rest of my bag here, okay. Um, in this side pocket where I keep those discs, keep my Bushnell so I know when to throw my ESP nuke. I've got a kind of a no-name brand uh, quick stick. Uh, it's only like eight feet long or something, but it's enough to get shit out of trees. Uh, I carry a few extra towels. In the winter, I carry a whole bunch of extra towels, a couple extra minis in here. That's about it for that side pocket. Uh, up on top, I carry my minis. Left side pocket, got, got my pins over here. Uh, this is kind of my catch-all pocket. I keep, you know, wet ones, uh, extra pens, pencils, Sharpies. I have a little first aid kit here with, you know, ibuprofen and pills and band-aids and stuff. I uh, keep, you know, more wet ones, keep my face buff in here. This is where I stick my keys and my wallet and stuff when I'm playing. always have snacks. I usually have a cliff bar. I've got these, like, energy quick packets with glucose. Things like a sanding block for sanding down my putters, things like that uh, I keep over there. Um, I think that's the pockets. So always carry a water bottle. I like my Yeti. Uh, I've switched to these full time. Uh, these hot summer months I've been going with like a water bottle and a Gatorade or whatever in the other pocket. But um, you know, luckily the Rebel's not too heavy. And then on the outside I always keep two flight towels. I have a mini and then the, the full size one. And then of course my moon dust floop sack with my custom showmania logo so uh i think that is it appreciate everyone watching uh appreciate everyone who's entering the contest on the discord and and all my youtube watchers so thanks guys deuces